Oh, Lord, you don't know how many times I've had to go through this just to check to make sure that the monitor up there, wait, sorry, that the microphone up there was actually on. I, I am never going to get used to this. Oh, shoot. Oh, I almost forgot. That. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Okay, so, okay, so yeah. So yeah, January 3rd, 2021. Um, I really didn't want to make this kind of video. I hate doing vlog style videos. I hate watching vlog style videos, but I didn't buy enough parts or have enough time to do the things I wanted to do while I was at home. So now I just figured I'd just talk about them just to put some content on the channel. But anywho, my name means no concern. Uh, if you were watching that last video, then you read the title correctly. Yeah. Rear wheel drive Camry, GLTC Cavalier, uh, Perfect Z32, or I should have probably renamed it and said more of like remastered Z32. So yeah, today I figured I'd go over a rundown of, you know, the cars, my stories behind them, what kind of plans I have for them, and learn stop staring at the monitor stop staring at the monitor <laughs> monitors down there and whatnot so I'm kind of getting used to this whole YouTube thing you know you got to stare here instead of looking out here at yourself and whatnot hair is a mess <laughs> oh man uh, but yeah okay so I guess we'll first start off in the order of appearance of the cars in the video um, the first car you see in the video is my uh, 2004 Chevy Cavalier that I bought off of my friend uh, a while back ago for about 600 bucks. Uh, it's pretty much my daily driver for the meanwhile as the two other cars currently are working right now. Pretty reliable, it's got the 2.2 liter Ecotec engine, you know, pretty small mod, nothing really, anything. All It's definitely one of those Fast and Furious era cars that, you know, it's got the BOM stickers on the side, it's got, it's got the B&M shift knob, the AEM intake that wasn't really done too well. <laughs> it's got Chevy Beretta wheels. You know, it's a basic little five-speed car. Seems like it'd be a fun little vehicle to do a, a GLTC style build, especially since it seems like it's starting to pick up now. <laughs> In case you didn't know, GLTC stands for the uh, Grid Life Touring Cup. Uh, it's this new event type that they have where they're actually doing wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Uh, they let you use any car that you want. You can choose any engine that you want. Uh, the only thing is that they keep it pretty uh, closely grouped together as far as the uh, specs of like uh, tire sizes and horsepower and that makes it so that everybody is kind of right around the same horsepower, you know. That way the V8 cars and the, the, the uh, V6 cars can't outrun the, the, v, the four cylinders and whatnot. So it seems pretty interesting and you know, since the whole point is that you can bring any car that you want, why not use a Cavalier? I mean, the J-Body community seems to be, I mean, even though they seem to be kind of, you know, gone, a little dead. I'm pretty sure maybe this bill would probably bring them back or whatnot. <laughs> Gotta stop looking at the monitor. Damn it. I don't know why I can't stop looking at the monitor. <laughs> um, uh, we'll get off of that. So next up is the my second car that I've owned, my personal favorite, my 1993 Nissan 300ZX Z32. That is my baby. I will never sell it. I plan on modifying that thing to all hell. We are not keeping anything stopped, and we are definitely keeping the VG engine. We're not doing no 2J, no RB, no LS, none of that bullshit. Keeping the VG in there, we're doing VG power build. It's an NA car. Uh, I plan on doing an NAT build, so we'll just use the same 10 and a half compression ratio and put two turbos on it, but I plan on doing it right. I want to make sure that we're going to do the entire bottom end and the heads and use some aftermarket parts for some different companies besides Z1 Motorsports because there are plenty of companies that actually do support that car and it seems like the Z community at large doesn't seem to either notice or not care for it because they want to keep them stocked because they're starting to raise value 
like the Super Mario 7 3000, which is bullshit. Stuff like that. So there's that. Um, I have no idea what the horsepower goals are for their car. We'll just do as much as we can. Hell, if I could, if I can afford it, I'll put a damn PPG dog box in there. If I could, <laughs> eight thousand dollars. Good God. <laughs> hmm. I think that car will be either maybe we'll use it for like a time attack sort of. Actually, no. With that car, I really plan to do something custom to it. Something more of a, I guess you would call it a remastering of the car. I plan on basically building it like a race car, but then somewhat keeping it sleeper status, but not really too sleeper. Just like, I, I, I picture it as like a race car disguised as a street car, instead of the traditional sleeper where it's a street car disguised as a daily driver. Um, oh, by the way, also, if you're wondering why this uh, background scenario kind of looks weird, it's because I'm actually in my semi-truck. Uh, ah, damn it! I keep looking at the screen! <laughs> keep looking at the screen! <laughs> Anywho, yeah, I'm in my semi-truck at work. Uh, I'm a uh, truck driver, and that's uh, pretty much the main reason why these uh, videos are probably going to take a bit of time to do, because I'm never really home that much. Hoping to be home more probably next year once I start the lease program. Um, go on to owner-operator stuff and whatnot. And hopefully I can be home more, do more builds, and uh, get this stuff done. Uh, unlike the other YouTubers, I don't plan on fucking around with these cars. I mean, I'm really going to get to the builds and whatnot. I, I, don't, I don't plan on having these things still being built by the end of this year. I'm thinking more or less probably by October should be done maybe hopefully lastly but not least is my first car I've ever owned my 1995 Toyota Camry love that car to death I will never get rid of it I'm just it's, I, I just have a sentimental attachment to it so I figured uh, I want to do something special for that car uh, it turns out a long time ago in the uh, Toyota forums I forget the name off the top of my head now so just bear with me but in deep in the forums there was a post about a guy who had was trying to do an all-wheel drive uh, basically convert the car from front-wheel drive to all-wheel drive and he was using parts from the Celica you know the uh, the, 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 the GT uh, I think it's called the GT4, GT4 Celica with the 3S GT. So he was going to use that uh, transfer case and I guess a custom drive shaft and some sort of fabricated rear end. And he said he was pretty close and he almost got to it, but then I believe in the post it said something about like him and his wife got into a divorce and he basically had to scrap the project and whatnot. So kind of tragic, honestly. Um, if anything, I want to... Um, actually, hold on a second. Let me readjust my position. I'm tired of laying like this. I want to... Um, I want to redo his idea, basically. Um, I'd like to do the same thing. I figured it's pretty simple to do. Um, a lot of the uh, Toyota parts are pretty much just like Honda parts. They're pretty much like Legos. Uh, you know, 3S GTE stuff fits on 5SFE stuff and vice versa. Uh, you can even put a 3S GT head on top of a 5S FE block. A lot of people tend to do that as like a 2.2 liter stroker kit for the Celicas. But uh, I never really realized about the transmissions, how similar they were, and really that the main difference is that the transfer case is bolted onto it. But since the blocks are nearly the same size, then in theory, it probably, in theory, it probably should work. So why not give it a shot? We're gonna turn it into a drift car because the craziest thing you'd probably see on the drift circuit is a Toyota Camry. The most ridiculous thing that you could possibly ever think of. And I think it would be just a fun little, fun little uh, toy to play with. I mean, you've seen from the video how in the past, you know, this was my first car I had, so this is the first car I ever did modifications for. Uh, I'll even, uh, I'll see if I can even find some pictures of all the terrible things I've done to it, like the, uh, the eBay steering wheel and the uh, the painted valve cover that I did in black, green, and blue because I thought oh the green was gonna be cool and <laughs> repainted the uh, repainted the um, uh, what are those things called the um, Lord it's 
losing my train of thought right now. The, uh, you know, the covers that go over the fuse panels and all that, and even painted the, um, even painted the, um, I did the cold air intake and all that, but yeah, it was a fun car to experiment on. I think now I'd like to do it professionally, do things right, give it the chance that it always deserved, you know, henceforth, name of the channel, second chance, give it a second chance. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, kids. <laughs> but yeah, uh, just wanted to give a rundown of the cars and whatnot, and then, you know, I guess unofficial, unnecessary vlog. Stop looking at the monitor, damn it. I gotta stop doing that. Ugh, I'm never gonna get used to it. Maybe one day when I get this thing to be up there. See, I would have put it up there, but the gimbal doesn't support all this weight, and I can only put so much on here. So, yeah. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys a rundown, or whoever's watching this channel, a rundown of what's to come further. Um, I'll probably do some more style of these vlog things while I'm out here over the road. I won't be back home until February when we get kicked off. That'll give me some time to save up some money. We can go get a whole bunch of parts because parts of the Cavalier are cheap. We'll work on the Z a bit later because it's going to require a bunch of things, but I have quite a lot of things in that house. You've seen the video of the painted valve covers. I've got some stuff of the Cavalier that's already there, like the radio cover and whatnot. And we'll get all that done. So until then, uh, I will catch you all later. And this is it. And hopefully this vlog kind of went okay because... I hate doing vlogs, never like them. <laughs> Second time making a YouTube channel and I still don't like this. Ten years, ten years later, I'm like, I hate this. I hate it. <laughs> but alright, I'ma catch y'all later. Peace.